let's get started. If you would like to read along in your Bibles, go ahead and turn to John chapter 2, verse 18. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shows thou unto us, seeing that thou does these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy the temple, and in three days I will rise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spoke of the temple of his body, when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. So, Jews wanted a sign. You know, they thought, you know, if you say you're the Messiah and you, you do these things, then give us a sign. What sign do you have to show us that you are the Christ? And Jesus told them that destroy the temple, and in three days I will rise it up. They didn't understand this. They thought he was talking about the building. And they were, and they thought that he was a threat. And later on, they used it against him. Witnesses that overheard the conversation used it against him. But the disciples, after the crucifixion, disciples remembered that he said this. And it says here that they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. So it came to their remembrance on that day. Okay, so there it is. Jesus in his own words was talking about his the temple of his body. And later on, um, in later scriptures, the Apostle Paul also mentions about the body, our body being the temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So I'm going to go, now that we've read that part, let's go into Mark. Mark 14, verse 55. And the chief priests and all the council sought for witnesses against Jesus to put him to death, and found none. For many bore, wit more, bore false witness against him, but their witness agreed not together. So it was all hearsay. And there arose certain and bore witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy the temple that is made with hands, and within three days I will build another made with hands. But neither do, neither so did their witness agree together. So some were saying, Oh, he was saying, you know, he said that he would destroy it with his hands, and he would build it with hands in three days. But none of it made sense. Because one said that, and, you know, it's all hearsay. None of it agreed together. And high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, saying, Answers thou nothing. Why aren't you answering, I guess? What is it which these witnesses against thee, what do they have against you? But he held his peace. And answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said unto him, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, on, said, What need we any further witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? What do you think? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on him, and to cover his face, and buff him, and to say unto him, Prophecy, 
prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the palm of their hand. Okay, so here. They couldn't find anything against him. None of the, it was all hearsay, all the witnesses that came forward. So they had to throw that out, you know, um, even though they didn't understand what he was talking about, what the disciples knew, they, were, they knew what he was talking about. But the Jews just thought, uh, you know, Okay, so they, they couldn't use that against him. So then, when the priest asked him uh, to answer, Jesus said, I am, and ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, coming in the clouds of heaven. That's his answer. And this made them angry. Okay, uh, back then, I guess, people were, I guess blasphemy was like a capital offense back then. And because they didn't believe that he was the Messiah, which he really was, the Jews didn't believe he was the Messiah. They did not believe that he was their king. So, what they did... As it says here, is the high priest rent his clothes, which means he, he, out of anger, you know, his anger, so he ripped his clothes, and, you know. And after that, they said he is guilty of death because he has committed blasphemy. And we all know, you know. No, because he is the true Messiah. And because they didn't believe him, some began to spit on him. They buffed him up. They covered his face. They told him, prophesy. Who struck you? with the palm of their hand. Oh, that is so mean. That, that just is so wrong. See what our, our Lord went through for us. We didn't even deserve it. We're undeserving his love. Yet went through with it. He carried his cross and was crucified for our sins. We should have been on that cross, not him. And while he was on that cross, he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. Now, that is true love. I mean, there is no love greater than that. I mean, Worldly love is fake. You know? We need that love of Christ. That's what this world needs. The love of Christ. Okay, so let's go into Matthew 26, 59. And this is going to be the exact same thing. The words might might get more detail, less detail. Let's find out. Okay? And this is uh, the book of Matthew. Now the chief priests and the elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. Yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At last came two false witnesses and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answer thou nothing? Are you going to answer this? And his witness against thee? But Jesus held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, 
I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter thou shalt see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest ran his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? What do you think? They answered and said, He is guilty of death. And they, did, they spit in his face, buffed him, and others smote him with the palm of their hand, saying, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? And there it is again. That just saddens my heart. How, how they spat on our Lord. 